Yeah, she's meant to be in a dream world. It is a dream world, isn't, isn't it, it? Yeah. Alice Dear Castles? And welcome to Canterbury Live. Congratulations, firstly, on the tannery. Thank you. What a vision. And what vision did you have before it evolved as it has now? Um, I've owned the tannery site for 20 years. And it was always um, something I was going to do. And um, it, it, it's um, one of those things, the earthquake made it happen. And it wouldn't have happened without the earthquake in the way it did. But um, when I was in, in Australia looking at what to do with, with, my, with my broken down building, mm. um, I realised that it, it, it needed something to, to really lift it. And it needed a, a central corridor. And the idea of putting a Victorian arcade in there just came to me in a flash. And um, that's what I did. So that was the centre point and then everything else grew around at the More or less, mm. but we had to take the, the, the tannery was still intact after 120 years. We had to take it down brick by brick and, and rebuild it, but um, it's all been worthwhile. It has been, and we've got some beautiful images actually of the tannery there. I mean, that is just breathtaking. It is, isn't it? And it has been used for a catwalk because it just lends itself, it, doesn't it? No, we've had, we've had, um, we've had fairly, fairly large functions there. We've had um, fashion shows. I think we've got one next week. Probably 500 people will be there. And there we go there, that's been used for a, a function there. So the tannery is available then to hire out for private functions? Yes, um, uh, weddings, um, functions, it's, it's, a, it's a large space and it lends itself really, uh, at night time it comes alive. I bet it does. Yeah. yeah. Oh look at that. It's quite magical, isn't it? Now you have an art space that's above the, the Alice Theatre. What's uh, that? About to go in. Um, mm -hmm. This. Yeah, we're, um, we're completing, um, Alice's have got two theatres downstairs. Upstairs we've got a conference room, which we're calling the Metropolitan Lounge, and that's also going to be an art gallery. We've got, um, we've had art displays in the atrium, and that'll continue. We're um, opening another uh, art space just off the atrium, and um, we hope that'll um, interest people and be able to display New Zealand artists. And a fantastic vehicle, exactly, yes. for displaying yeah, yeah, um, local yeah. and New Zealand artists as yes, well. Yeah. Um, Thursday night flings, that's really, really been embraced, hasn't it? it Getting has, on down yes. to the tannery on a Thursday night. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting word, but really it's a, it's a family night and, and it's, um, it's, a, it's a great place at night. I mean, it, it comes alive, but the idea was to get families down there at night. Um, it's got a beautiful atmosphere um, and it's just another, another uh, way to use the space. Which is great. Mm. And um, if you're having a fling, you might just like to have a we uh, dabble or tipple at uh, Castles. Because, yes, yes. And I must commend you, the best milky stout I've ever had is uh, from Castles. Yeah, it's a room temperature. People just don't get that. No, it's good, isn't it? That no, is it is fantastic. Yeah, it's good beer. And, and is it, how is the brewery going, though? Um, well, it's, it, it, it's going well, yes. We're, we're trading well. Because it's a, the whole boutique beer has gone to another level now, hasn't it, in New Zealand? We've really embraced the craft beer. Yes, true. We've got two breweries there. We've got our production brewery at the other end of the site, and we've got the um, the wood-fired brewery in the in the um, in the brewery, which is the only second only wood-fired brewery in the world. We uh, we built that just after the earthquake. It's a family affair, isn't mm, it, Alice dear? Is. As far as the business, so who's yeah. working with you alongside um, you? My son, my son-in-law, in the in the brewery business. Um, at the tannery site, all our family work there. Um, I've got um, uh, four daughters, and they're all there. And oh, that'll capacities. keep you busy in itself. <laughs> they're all grown up now. <laughs> What's the vision? You've come so far, as you said, brick by brick. You've built this yes. beautiful building. Well, really, it's it, um, look. Christchurch is there because of the Heathcote River, and I'm 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 just passionate about the Heathcote, and I want to see it return to its former glory uh, mm. might be um, it might be it might seem a funny thing for someone to want but it, it is it isn't for me and I think um, I think it's slowly getting there there's a uh, the lower Heathcote's a beautiful place it's got um, industrial buildings all around it but it's still a beautiful place well it lends itself to actually embrace the Heathcote River doesn't it the tannery being right on the banks there. yes we've got uh, a lovely shot of it I think somewhere there too yes we're um, um we're um, putting a bridge over the river and right. 
linking up with the tow track, which was, the tow track um, was used to tow um, scows up and down the river uh, way back in the end of the um, 18th century. It's an interesting place. It is an interesting spot, and I love it that it's still evolving, and it's it's, yeah. it's quite beautiful. Yeah. And it's also a little beacon of what can be done, what can be done here, and embracing what we already have. Yes. But just you know, judging it and giving it a bit of the the castle's flavour. Yep. <laughs> Thank you for joining us Thank today. You. I look forward to seeing the vision that you have um, come to. Um, would love to see you back again.